Hi, how to create and use a printer settings file. Now a printer settings file is a snapshot of the printer driver setup. It's unique to that printer driver and on that machine as well because it uses the IP address of the printer and things like that in the PRS file. Now to set it up, go into file menu, printer setup, and then you set your printer how you want it. So in this case, I'm going to set it tray one. You can set any setting in the print setup, and it will save that setting to a file. So I'm going to do one side of print for this one. Just leave it like that. I click on file menu, save printer settings as. Now I'm going to save it to tray one dot prs. Now I'm going to set up another one. So I'm going to set this one to tray two set to different paper for example I'm just going to set to legal properties I'm going to set it to two sided print on this one so that's quite a difference and I'm going to save that one to tray 2 now to actually use it you can use it in the interface as normal for normal printing you can use it in the director monitor you can also use it in scheduler so to use it in normal interface first, you can either click on file menu, load printer settings, and it will load that setup into the um, main program as default settings on the printer. So any prints then will print with that setting. So you can do it that way, or you can just drag the file. So it's a top at list, and then you can print say a couple of files with that setting, they can change the setting for that last print. So now we're a print, it's going to say tray one, print those, and then tray two, print those. So I'll show you that. I've paused the spook you so you can see what's happening. So these first two should be on tray one. So if I right mouse properties on those, printing options, you can see it's tray one, letter, one side of print. It should be safe for the next file, which it is, and then the last file should be tray two, which it is tray two, and two sided print. That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm just going to remove those now. So I can now show you the setup for directory monitor. So if you go to options menu, directory monitor setup, I set it up to scan this folder here. I'm just going to print PDF files to the same printer here. And now to use the PRS file, click browse there and then set it to tray one for example. So any file in this folder will be put into tray one. Now you can have multiple setups with different settings as well. So I could say anything starting with VG will print tray one. And then I can add another one for anything else so en or here and I want to set it to tray 2 so that's those two set up now for different tray settings so I'm going to let it print I'm going to activate monitoring set to 5 seconds save and exit So you can see that it's loaded tray one and then print that file and then loaded tray two and then print those two files. So I've got VG on tray one, which it is. And then the other two files should be on tray two, which it is, and tray two. So that's how you use a PRS file normally and in monitor. You can use it in scheduler as well so I'll just click that off and then I'm going to schedule a setup in here you can set the PRS file here so I can set it to say tray one and in this case I want to scan this folder here so I like to run 
in one minute's time. Just going to remove that. So that should pick it up and do it. So activate scheduler. The scheduler checks every 20 seconds. So now it's picked it up. It's scanning that folder there. So that's going to pick up the uh, PRS files as well. It's not really what I wanted, but he normally would put those in a different folder. So now it's printing those files. <coughs> So that's how you use a PRS file. Just download the trial version and give it a try. Any problems, contact us by email at support at traction-software.co.uk.